Hi, fire signs. Welcome to Love Notes. This is for singles and couples, and we're going to take a look at a group of you and see what's going on on your end as well as the other person, the other situation. And this could be a new person. This could be dealing with family. Whatever information I get, I will relate to you. And we are looking at fire signs. So that's Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. I have an Aries rising. So I'm excited to listen to this when we're done. Now, um, I'm going to put your cards on the top or view you as the top and the other person, the other situation will be on the bottom. So let's start off with you and then <clears throat> we'll follow with additional information on Vimeo as well at the end if you're interested. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Cups, and that actually came out upright, which I'm super happy that that came out that way. So the Page of Swords, this is communication, message, a message coming in. And I'm seeing this coming in via text message. Now, some of you could be dealing with somebody who is a little bit immature in the way they communicate. For those of you where you're in a relationship, you may feel that way about your partner or they could see you that way. This could also mean that you could have a child possibly as well. But for most of you, this is actually what I'm seeing is with the nine of cups, um, sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't turn the, the, uh, thing off my phone. I don't like my phone to be on when I'm doing readings. You guys know that. So with the nine of cups, this is a wish fulfillment. Nine of cups is happiness. It's joy. So some of you could be getting this communication, a message that's going to bring you wish fulfillment. That's going to actually bring you what it is that you've been wanting. <coughs> Now we do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here and the element of water. Okay, so you guys, we've got Nine of Swords and the Six of Cups. So Nine of Swords is really feeling anxious. It's worrying. It's it's when we go through and oftentimes this card will come out when we're going through the dark night of the soul if we're if you've experienced a spiritual aspect to major life transformations you'll see things but this is in your dreams that's what i'm talking about the dark night of the soul and that's not a fun place to be but this is where we we start to see that Everything was built around them is crumbling down. You see, their world, and it has to do with karma, it has to do with deception, it has to do with somebody around them, may have deceived them on some level when it comes to you. Now, this could just be simply worrying about, oh my God, I don't know how to do this. <laughs> you know, I don't know. But here we go. Six of Cups. So yes, this is somebody you know. This could be from childhood, most definitely. But I think what's going on here is they're really worried. They are freaking out because they feel the connection. They feel that the two of you have this incredible chemistry. And I have a feeling that this may be the first time they've ever felt that, to be honest with you. They may not have ever experienced that beautiful energy that, uh, you know, when we meet somebody new and then, and that chemistry, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's incredible. So they're worried about that. Some of them, they didn't tell you they felt the connection and this could be them communicating somebody that you know from the past. Whatever it was, they didn't share it with you. And I feel that they, they're, they're feeling that they need to send this information. Very positive, though. I mean, not for them. <laughs> because, you know, they should have done it a long time ago. They're doing the woulda, shoulda, coulda. That's what's going on here. Fire signs. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. So we have for you <clears throat> the higher font. This is about change in belief system. This is five. Change is going to happen. It's a major arcana. That means it's meant to be in your life. So whether you're going through a spiritual transformation, some of you may very well be, 
this is about an opportunity, a message coming in, your wish being fulfilled, and it has to do with a relationship. Your partner seeing that, oh my gosh, you know what? We really are connected. I really feel this connection. They, they may have ran away, honestly. They may have stepped away from you to try and absorb this, to be perfectly honest. You're like, I just want marriage. <laughs> do to do that. No, not necessarily marriage, but a permanent commitment, a higher level of commitment. And we have the seven of cups. So this is the confusion. This is the cloudiness around this situation between you and your current partner. For some of you, if you're married, they, 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 you have a child that may be drinking. Honestly, there may be some type of a, a situation um, I feel they're between the age, they're around 16, 17 years old, and they might be uh, hanging out with the wrong crowd is what I'm hearing. So you want to, they're creating a lot of confusion around you, so you don't know that they're drinking. So really pay attention to your 16 to 17 year old child. If you suspect, but don't, you know, don't say you're doing it. If you, know, if you don't know they're doing it, right? Because this isn't for everyone. Yeah, you know, this, this is about really seeing your options when it comes to relationships overall. In general, you want to be happy. You want somebody raw and authentic. You know, I want to see the real you, even if it's in baby steps, right? Even if it's in baby steps. Some of you, your partner, may be, there may be an age difference. We have Taurus here now. So the nine of wands and <clears throat> this is them feeling worn out, exhausted, maybe have gone through a lot of relationship issues in the past. And that could be why they're freaking out right here with the nine of swords. This is a lot of negative thinking right here when it comes to you, when it comes to the relationship. For those of you where this is somebody brand new that you're meeting they may have been through a lot in relationships and you can see that on them. But I think that you're going to see this little, there's telling me a spark in their eye. Look at their eyes. There's a spark, a gleam in their eye. You can tell they're nervous, but you equally, you will equally see this person. It's like, their energy shifts while you're on the date. Their energy shifts while you're in, uh, interacting with them where you see them go from the nine of swords to the nine of wands. So it's like overcoming this uh, uh, fear, getting the courage, the lion, really pulling out that bravery in them to say, you know what, I, I, I've been through hell and back again. <laughs> you know, I don't want to do this, but dang, Wow, you knocked my socks off. You make me want to continue to try in a relationship. So you're really going to make this person a little bit out of balance. <clears throat> they may be uh, juggling. I'm hearing work overall in general life situations but it's going to make them feel out of balance because of the deception there's a snake here and a snake here so they're concerned they want to make sure that you're not a snake right and this is a new person you haven't met this person but you guys are going to click bam like instantly like wow this may be somebody that I want to really look at. This might be my wish fulfillment. And I really see them looking at you in the same way. So I love that energy. So let me pull an advice card for you. This is so freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And that's exactly what this is talking about. Look at this, you guys. This is great. This is saying your wish fulfillment. You hold the freedom. 
you hold the authentic you, the power within you to actually create what you want. Really reflecting on now, you know what direction you want to go. You have no more cloudiness, no more confusion when it comes to your own personal freedom and what you want when it comes to relationships, emotions. You're open. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. And that's what you're setting out to do. So this is really, really lovely energy. And I feel your vibration might be higher than your partner's. Or for those of you where this is somebody new, the vibration may be higher on this side than this side. And this could very easily be you. And for those of you where, you know, you do have a person returning from the past, this person may have been a, a really, like I said, that connection between the two of you, the sizzle, the chemistry, the passion, like yearning is the word that I keep hearing, yearning for each other. That may really freak them out. Okay, so let me pull you a Romance Angel card. And for those of you, if you're new to my channel, you like me, you like my style, please thumbs up and subscribe. That's what keeps this channel up and going. And to those of you who are my subscribers, you know I love doing this for you. And thank you for joining. So we're going to pull a Romance Angel card and see what they want you to know. Regarding this scenario, we do have... We have all, all elements, all energy on the board. So all water, fire, all elements on the board. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So when we really allow everything to unfold naturally, we are able to maintain our own personal freedom where we we don't feel stifled we don't feel like oh my god the ball and chain or we don't feel stuck we're free to be our authentic self when we let go of control issues so it is very important that you allow this person to actually come from this fear oh my god freaking out hysteria <laughs> I'm not laughing, but I am. But I mean, because look at this card. It's like, I hope you can see that. It didn't look like it focused on my end. But this person is completely freaked out. Like, what have I done? What did I do? Who did I meet? Who is this person? Wow. Reflecting a lot on the way that they view relationships as well. But it's more about them getting the courage to say, wow, I really like you. You're throwing me out of balance. So I do feel very positive about this reading, you guys, because you've got something coming, a message coming, whether it be from your current partner, from a person of the past that could be returning for a few of you or simply <clears throat> meeting somebody brand new. This is about overcoming th this uh, need to control relationships uh, so that we feel freedom even though we're hurting the other person. And this is going to be very lovely. You're going to be able to put this in balance. I see it going very, very slow. And for those of you where it's your partner, this isn't going to go slow. Now, it's taking them by the loop, but they're going to come out of this really quick as soon as no one is trying to control the outcome of this. So I love this energy. If you'd like to follow and see where this is going, you can click below on Vimeo and I will see you on the other side. Have a wonderful next two weeks. Much love.